it's actually kind of wild when you see some of these areas here how this heat wave has really been affecting this area used to be all that green area right there is where the lake was but i don't know if you can see but all the way out there is where it's receded to the lake's pretty small to what it normally is the boating area has been docked, blocked off too so i think you got to get a different area to, if you really actually want to dock a boat but you're not going to go far at this point in time i mean normally this area during the winter season it's all green and lush and everything but this heat wave has really been beating this area down so this is my current bike as it is now I placed the new drivetrain on order but so far i haven't gotten it so but uh, we're going to see if maybe by the third of next month, if that order goes through or not. So it'll be great when it does. The only thing I really want to do is go wireless right now. But I'm going to start with the drivetrain first, then go for the dropper second. If I had any other options for things I can do to this bike right now, probably carbon crank sets and a new bottom bracket. But that's about it. Other than that. Okay, so I've already seen a couple people on the trail. And by a couple, I mean just two. But never a bad time to see people because they'll let you know what's up ahead any down tree and you should worry about uh this area i'm not really worried about down trees there's not really a whole lot of trees in the way there's a couple here and there but nothing's gonna get in the way sometimes you ride a bike sometimes you walk a bike Short turn. I feel like I went up the wrong way, but it's fine. Not the biggest of deals. Got to remember shifting. You're supposed to. Yeah, I've been doing pretty good with my goals so far. Somebody said that really should should have hit home to me earlier. Is uh, if you're gonna. Try to lose weight, change your diet first. Especially like during this whole COVID thing, like when gyms got closed down and whatnot. Would have been a great time to swap the diet for something. Wasn't being so active, so probably should have changed the way I was uh, eating the match. Oof, this is an aggressive down. Oh no. Oh, if I didn't stand up, that would have been bad. Yeah, like, yeah. I was saying, really glad with the way with my goals have been working out, though, lately. Uh, I was trying to get new clothes yesterday, but the AC done went out in the apartment. So that kind of killed a lot of my plans for my free time. So I decided to go out biking a lot earlier than I usually do. There's a lot less people on the trails, like walkers, other mountain bikers and whatnot. So it's pretty empty. And to top it off, I'll have time to do what I wanted to do yesterday in the afternoon. So I'm not too bummed out about anything. Other than that, I've been doing really good with my other goal, which was to get a bachelor's degree from Embry Riddle. Oof. Oh man. Yeah. But the way things are going, if I finish my next class, so I'm supposed to, which I'm on track to do it. I'm doing really good. I have one more class, and I should graduate by December 12th, which is a lot sooner than I thought it was going to be. Because initially, the way the, the way they were trying to track my graduation was like was only a certain number of classes a semester. And what I ended up doing was doubling that. So I graduated twice as fast within the two two year mark, you know. And it hurts sometimes because when you're full time and you're struggling with school, there's not a lot of free time. That's why a lot of times I went without a bike video. That's why a lot of times my editing is on point because usually I have like other things eating away at my free time. And you want to know like, do I want to make a career out of this, like biking and whatnot? Not really. There's something I want to do with my free time. Something that just like kind of reminds me that no matter what, you should always fi find time to do something you just enjoy doing for the sake of enjoying it. Because otherwise, you're kind of just living to work or living to 
go to school. And I'll be honest with you, there's some nights where it's like, honestly, you kind of almost want to cry with the amount of things you have to do. So you'll get no sleep, trying to meet a deadline or no sleep because otherwise there's just no way you'll finish. But I guess in time, that's, that's all it takes, just a little time for you to put the hard work in now so you can relax and take it easy later. That's kind of how I'm viewing it. Like, sure, it's a lot of work now, but in the future, it's going to be a lot less free time and a lot more rewards for putting in the effort in now. That's kind of the way I think I'm viewing this, kind of get me through mentally because there's always stuff going on. You always got stuff you got to worry about, stuff you got to do, stuff that's got to eat up your free time or your mental fortitude. And I know things about being physically fit, you know? Sometimes you just gotta like buckle down, make an effort, and at the very least, try if nothing else. You can't just let yourself get overwhelmed by the sheer thought of it. Kind of the way I've been trying to view things. Kind of the way I've been trying to do everything, so. It's hard sometimes. Sometimes you don't wanna keep going. Sometimes you wanna quit. Sometimes you just gotta pick yourself up somehow with whatever's left and just manage to go through it. And that's kind of the hard part. That's kind of the part that a lot of people fail at, not getting back up. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not any better than anybody else. I have those moments too where I just don't want to. So here's hoping I still find some strength to keep picking myself up, keep moving forward, keep making any sort of progress, even if it's not a lot, even if it's very little, even if it's, it's the only part that's left, just keep trying. Just another hill, right? Just another hill to climb. But, but I am very happy with the progress I've made but with school, work, trying to lose weight, getting in better shape, the things I've done mountain bike wise. I am happy with the progress I've made. So there's one area I don't think I'll ever complain at. I don't think I'm going to climb up this with a bike. At least with mountain bike, you can kind of forget your troubles for a while kind of focus your time and energy just enjoying the trail it is going to help you get in better shape a little bit here and there but it's mostly just burning calories but it's another excuse to get active see things you've never seen before see trails environments all that good stuff definitely been into a lot of areas i never thought i'd go to before just by mountain biking alone if this was uh the winter season all this would be green lush full of life but Every now and then all you see these is the occasional snake, squirrel, uh, hare, I think they're called. Other than that, it's been pretty brown, but it's nice to go out there. I'm probably going to call it early soon because uh, with, with the fires and the smoke in California, the index has been pretty bad. So just happy to get out here for what little time that I can. I'm happy to enjoy the area. Happy to just uh, keep doing what I'm doing as a hobby, you know. That's all I really care. Just have fun on your free time. Put in the work when you have to put in the work. The blood, sweat, respect, as the rock says. And just I can throw something in there. Just have fun every now and then. Just unwind every now and then. Just do something for yourself. Every now and then. It's not selfish. It's somewhat necessary. And with that. I think I'm going to cut the video very short this week. Just give you a quick update where I'm at, what I'm doing. Uh, no real update on new parts and whatnot, because even I don't get a whole lot of updates now and then with the supply storage. I'm just waiting on parts. So I was able to get the Fuku pedal with a chance for the other bike, but that's because I needed the pedals to facilitate a recall on a road bike. But other than that, yeah, I'm just going to leave you guys. And uh, thanks for watching. 
Have a great day.